Hello, my makeup and nail junkies, and welcome to my face of today. It is January 5th, Monday the 5th, and I'm headed out to work. And this is my face of today. And I'll start with my lips. I am using this pencil called Soar that you've seen in Shop My Stash. And you will also see this in a collective haul probably around Tuesday. And I'm going to shout out Jamie Lynn, the girl who told me to pick this up. I love her lips. You guys know I have issues with lips. And um, I have to get one more that she told me about, which is stone. But yes, this is Soar. And I have that all over my lips with the Kate Rimmel 101. And then I have my NARS lip gloss over that. So that is my lips. Loving the combination. I have all my items from my shop, my stash on. The new Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Foundation. And stay tuned because before or after this video, there is a video of me when I first got this. And I actually put it on for you guys and give you my first initial review. I am wearing this all week and I probably will wear it for two weeks or the entire month. Haven't decided yet. Next, I do have on the new Infallible L'Oreal 16 Hour Powder. I am... I took the sticker off. I think I'm 600 in this. I think I'm 600 in this, but it looks like that. It doesn't have a mirror on the top. It has a mirror on the bottom. And it's supposed to be 16-hour mattifying powder. Now, I wore this for one day in my demo, but I'm going to wear this the entire week and see how I like it because it was expensive for L'Oreal. This was either $11.99 or $12.99 at Walmart. At CVS and Walgreens, it's more. It's like $13.99 and $14.99. So... I'm trying to find out why L'Oreal went up so much on their powder. I have never paid this much for L'Oreal powder, and I love L'Oreal. So, definitely kept my receipt in wearing this for a week. You guys know I am team extremely oily, so if it doesn't work, it's going back. And I have my NYX concealer on. I actually have, if you can see there, this color that I dug into as my under eye highlight, and this darker color as concealer. Okay, this is an excellent palette. It's extremely creamy. You will need to set this palette with the powder. My under eye uh, highlight, I set with a very, very, very good powder. Um, but I won't use this as my under eye highlight anymore. It's just too thick and creamy for that. But all over face, concealer, spots, bumps, this is excellent. Absolutely love it. I feel like it can also be used if you like a full coverage heavy heavy. Um, like foundation on a Saturday when you're not going anywhere on your day off when you just run into the store this will be really good to just spot conceal and put some powder on and run out the door so this is an excellent buy even if you just have one of these and I don't have the MAC palette in this I bought this um, because I've always wanted the MAC palette and because I love NYX and I think this is an excellent dupe I don't know how thick the MAC palette is but this is awesome to have in your stash so here's my face of the day and the highlight um i was watching someone's video and they said they wet their brush when they're doing their highlight you guys know i'm using um the glow all over by ruby kiss all over glow so i did wet my brush and put it on and i do love the intense more intense effect of the highlight by doing that so yes so i am ready it's 37 degrees when we woke up this morning here so i have my accessories on and my scarf this is actually two scarves from walmart and i have one just long because they're both infinity scarves so one i left long and the other one i have doubled up on okay and your girl has to get ready to go make a dollar so Hope you enjoy the face of the day. Try to give you guys good lighting so you can see. And I'm using all my items for my Shop My Stash video. So stay tuned to Instagram for pictures. I'll see you the next time we play in our makeup.